What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video with myself, Hoxton. Guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing, doing a new series. It's called Test Drive to Fix. Test Drive to Fix? That's yeah, what it's called, test isn't drive it? To fit. Every now and again, I get items sent by different retailers. So when they come into me, I'm actually going to be test driving these. We're looking at the um, different qualities of the jacket, the looks and the fit of the jacket, the materials, functionality, and giving my overall opinions. Plus, we get a chance to come outdoors and try these items on and see exactly what they're saying. So listen, if you like any of the items in this video, go down to the description box below where you see all the items available from a retailer called My Teresa, okay? Go ahead and use that. See that offer in the description box below. So what's your first jacket? First jacket is this Burberry Parker jacket. To be honest with you, I absolutely love. I think it looks really expensive. I love the detail on this jacket as well. So it's made with mixed materials. So we've got a different material here on the shoulders, different, more hardened material on the elbows as well. And we've got it on the pockets on the side as well. So overall, I think the jacket looks quite expensive. I think it looks really good quality. I love Burberry jackets in general, to be honest. So what is your rating for the look and the fit of the jacket? So rating for the look and the fit of this, of this jacket for me is a four point five out of five i think it's a really nice jacket boy you can't go wrong with it you can wear it with a lot of outfits definitely so what do you think of the materials and the quality the materials of this jacket is made from 100 percent polyamide outer material basically water resistant as well so i have tested it with water and sprayed it and the water just run off this has like a light to medium water resistance which means when it, it was sh it should be able to handle a light shower but if it got a bit too heavy it might not be able to okay the material on the neck lining here is actually made from wool and cash mirror as well got the Burberry tartan um, pattern so immediately without too much detail you can kind of identify this is a Burberry jacket straight away also there's a rubber logo patch on the arm that you can see right there as well what's your rating for the quality and materials quality and materials rating is 4.5 so in terms of warmth and functionality what's that saying so with the warmth and functionality I'll give this a rating of 4 but like when I zip this jacket up it feels really puffy and I do find that with um, Burberry down jackets that the puffiness on them is quite high. Do you know what would be good for this clip, bro? You know that thing when they put it in SpongeBob a few moments later. Have you see. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments later jacket man. nah i love it man i love it i love it we've got a double zip feature the, the bottom zip can also go up as well do you know what that do you know what that is where's that if it gets too warm i can control the amount of airflow that comes underneath the jacket so if it gets too hot i don't need to take the bottom zip down i might just be able to just take it up a little bit and i can let and the air will come in a little bit more zip flap if i button that up what that means is the, the wind doesn't get through into the zip also acts as like a wind barrier fleece pockets on the inside as well so the pockets are fleeced your pull cords so with the pull cords i can tighten that up and i can get some tapering around the jacket as well right. so yeah man one good thing i would say about Burberry though is they do hold their value quite well so when it comes to resale time so long as you keep your receipt and you keep your purchase record then actually you should be able to get quite a lot back um, in terms of what you paid. So that brings us on to the second jacket, which is called... This is the Canada Goose Glacier Chili Whack. And it's like a new, newer design. It's like an updated design by Canada Goose. So what's your thoughts on the looks and the fit of this jacket? So first impression is I like the look of the jacket. I do think it looks interesting. It's quite different. This is actually a size large. So I think it fits quite well. I do think it has a nice interior as well. Yeah, the interior is a bit different, man. It almost looks like you're in the cloud. Oh, this guy. <laughs> What's your ratings on the look of this jacket? So the look of this jacket, I think I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a three out of five. Why is that? Um, for the reasons that I just described. That was an awkward moment. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on the quality and materials of this jacket? The outer construction of this jacket is made from ripstop. So basically this has got a lot more higher resistance than the original Canada Goose Chili Whack, which uses a Arctic Tech material, which is Canada Goose's own material. The other thing what I, think, I think could be a benefit for some people about this jacket is it's actually machine washable as well. So for example, the Macmillan, the Chili Whack, the Emery, all those jackets that used Arctic Tech material, you can't machine wash those. You have to dry clean those my only consideration is that the cuffs could build up dirt and sweat under here see so that's one thing i would say about it so what's your ratings on the quality and materials of this the jacket? quality and materials i'm going to give it a free one of the things that people do say a lot is they find that the canada goose chili whack the original one a lot of people say they feel like it's too warm whereas this jacket i think it's a bit lighter so it doesn't feel as heavy and as warm as the original um chili whack i did hear that this jacket can deal with minus 20 degrees um temperatures i think i do love those i love this new rubberized badge 
I think that is quite cool. So the next jacket is the Canada Goose Gilet Glacias. First impressions are I really like the Gilet. It feels really warm. I actually do like the colorway on it. What is the temperature today? I don't know about you, yeah, but I feel like it's cold. I know it's 11, but the, the, the air is cold, right? Very cold. Bro. Ratings out of five on first impression. For me, I think I'll give it a two and a half. What's your thoughts on the material and quality of the jacket and ratings out of five? So the material of the jacket is made from a ripstop material. So that means that the jacket is got a high water resistance to it. It's down insulated on the inside and it does feel quite warm. So material wise, I do think it's good. Give it a three out of five. What's on the warmth and the functionality? As I'm wearing it now, and the temperature you just saw was 11 degrees, I think the air is really cold, but my body does feel warm. But I'm not gonna lie, my arms do feel a little bit cold. Um, overall, I'll give that a three out of five, I think. So the next jacket is the Canada Goose Armstrong jacket, bro. This one. Right, so first impressions of the jacket is, I do like the fact that it's a parka so jacket. You're gonna get more warmth going in around your legs, which is what I like. I would give this a three and a half out of five for the look and the fit. So materials and quality, it's using the ripstop uh, material on the outside, so that's gonna make it very high water resistance. It's also quite durable as well. Got a lot of puffiness, so it's got a lot of down insulation inside it. I've also noticed on the back, there is like a reflective material on the back. Can you see it? So that's that's good if it's nighttime, a bit of reflectiveness and a bit of vis visibility. As for the warmth and functionality. I think it's really warm. It's definitely one of the warmer jackets that we've tried on so far. Not as warm as the Burberry. I think the first Burberry I tried on was really warm. Warmth and functionality. I think possibly this is also machine washable as well. So if I know for a lot of people that don't want to always go to the dry cleaners, I think this would be a good good um, alternative to the Arctic Tech jackets. I would give it functionality. I think I'll give it a three and a half out of five as well, you know. Right, so the next jacket is called the Stone Island Panama. Panama. Bro, you know Stone Island, they do some crazy names. I can't even remember the name of the jacket. So this is called the Stone Island Modified Panama 6.6 .6 over 3 HT Nylon Mixed Fabric Down TC Jacket. That's a whole paragraph. Bro, bro I feel like you got to write. I feel like I'm reading off a book when I, when I say Stone Island jacket sometimes. Um, I know it comes in this colour and also a green. What is your first impressions of the jacket out of five? Out of five, I'll give this um, probably four out of five, you know. Five in terms of the materials and quality. The materials feel really good. It does feel a little bit light, but I'm just surprised about how warm the, um, the jacket actually is. So materials and quality, I'll give it a three and a half out of five. How about the warmth and functionality? Bro, this jacket is really warm, man. I'm surprised how light the jacket is, but how warm it is. It's down insulated. Also, if you look at the back, it kind of goes down past the hip. So I yeah. still am getting a certain degree of protection past the hit, which is nice. I'll give it a four out of five. You, yeah, 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 I'll give it a four out of five. Prices are creeping up on Stone Island, so I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised how prices have crept up over the years. Is that due to the ownership by Montclair, or is it just in general that the prices are going up? Personally, I do think that has something to do with it. Whereas before, it was meant to be more like a premium sportswear. But now I feel like it's more like kind of a more of a luxury type brand or trying to head in that direction anyway. Hence the price point. That's a really nice jacket. You like this one, isn't it? 100%. What do you like about it? You like the badge? Yeah, the badge, yeah. But bro, I'm not sure if you knew about that brand back in the days called Penfield. Yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. Remember yeah. that? That yeah, pattern on yeah, the shoulders. Yeah. It, yes, like, yes. It takes me back to that. Point. Yes. But one thing I would say is I think they've actually used real suede on this, which you never got on the Penfield. The Penfield was actually... Played. Is it called plaid or flannel? It was like a, it was like a fake, it was like pleather. Oh, that. It wasn't even leather. So based on that, bro, what's your first impressions of the jacket out of five? I would give this one a three and a half out of... No, do you know what? Tell a lie. I'll probably give it a four, you know? Because it's a collaboration jacket, you're not going to see many of these. Once the collaboration happens, and that's kind of it. So I think it will be quite a rare jacket um, in future. In terms of the materials and quality, bro, what's your thoughts? Do you know what? I'm actually really surprised. So the material on the outside does feel water resistant, so that's good to see. But if you look carefully on this one, you can actually see that there's kind of like some suede material here, and also on the, on the shoulders as well. So I like the fact that they've added that onto the jacket. So that alone, I think is a nice is it's a nice a really touch nice colorway as well yeah man definitely so that this effect on the badge where they've put the palm tree yeah man goes, that that that, nice that, that is nice that is a nice touch i feel like it acts a little bit like a windbreaker type material as well so i feel like the wind is bouncing off me a little bit i would probably say this would be a um probably put it put it up as a four you know 
Right, so the next jacket is called the Burberry Tinsley jacket. This one I think is actually probably one of my favourites out of the whole bunch, if I'm to be honest with you. I really like this one. I love the fit of it and the look and everything. I think it's really cool. Down vest on the inside, which is also removable. Yeah, this is more my style of jacket. But you know what? I would appreciate that this might not be for everyone because the style is a little bit oversized. As you can see, it's got a little bit of an oversized look to it. I don't know if you knew, but Burberry, their head designer used to be with um, Givenchy. Wow. So he's now like their head designer and ever since he's come on board, he's brought this kind of more streetwear style to Burberry as of late. So their, their style has really changed over the years, but he's done such a good job of marrying British heritage and streetwear fashion at the same time. 100% bro. So I because think- Because since that shift- Yeah. It's like, I've been seeing a lot more people wear Burberry. Certain people who might like the old styles and they might not like this. So yeah, bro, I guess it's a, a bit of give and take really, isn't it? If you look deep into their collection, um, Burberry have still maintained a lot of their old styles. So for example, a lot of their um, trench coats, camel coats, they've okay. still maintained a lot of stuff right. that is um, true to the heritage of the brand. So I think they've done such a good job of trying to, of trying to marry and mix the two and make it kind of appealing to their existing customers and to a new fan base as well. So for that alone, I'm, I'm a big fan of Burberry. The outer construction of this is 100% polyamide material, um, which is also water resistant, but to a lighter degree. So this is not gonna withstand um, a, a, a high amount of rain. But also, if you look at the, the finishing and detail on the inside like there's a lot of work that's gone into this jacket which is one thing I like about um, Burberry how about the warmth and functionality of the jacket it feels really warm down insulated it's quite puffy you've got the hoods so you've got the funnel hoods as you can see there overall the warmth and functionality I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five so bro what's your top three jackets at the end of this episode of test drive the fit i can't even remember what jackets i tried on now you know palm angels that's probably going to be my number three you know i'd say number two go with the stone island jacket but yes the stone island jacket thank you the stone island panama definitely i really like that jacket but definitely my number one is the the burberry jacket yeah you know the one with the, with the that was my favorite jacket out of the bunch that was yeah that jacket there that was a very special jacket. So yeah, those are my top three. Listen, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this video useful. I will be doing more Test Drive to Fit videos with more items coming from different retailers. If you like any item from this video, make sure to go down to the description box below so you can make sure to go and check that out, okay? Guys, listen, I'm out of here. Lots more coming. Peace out.